Hello everyone, this is Electroblast triple line. In our previous lecture, we see the basics of armature winding and what is armature winding. Now here in this tutorial, we will see the types of armature winding. Generally, there are two types of armature winding, the lap winding and the wave winding. In this tutorial, we will see only the lap winding. In a lap winding, the finishing end of a one coil is connected to the starting end of the another coil. This is the arrangement of a lap winding. For a lap winding, number of a parallel pass is equal to number of poles, where A is the number of parallel pass and P is the number of poles. Lap winding is used in low voltage high current machines. There are some important points that should keep in mind while doing a lap winding. What are they? The back and the front pitch are odd and of opposite sign, but they cannot be equal. They differ by two or some multiple of thereof. Both back pitch and front pitch should be nearly equal. The average pitch YA equals back pitch plus front pitch divided by two. It equals two pole pitch that is given by number of conductors per pole. Commutator pitch YC is equal to plus minus 1. Generally, commutator pitch is equal to plus minus M. Resultant pitch YR is always even. That is, for lap winding, resultant pitch is equal to back pitch minus front pitch. The number of slots for two layer winding is equal to number of coils. The number of commutator segments is also equal to the number of coils. The number of parallel paths in armature is equal to m times p, where m is the multiplicity factor of a winding and p is the number of poles. If back pitch is greater than front pitch, that is back pitch is equal to front pitch plus 2, then we get progressive winding or right handed winding. If back pitch is front pitch that is back pitch is equal to front pitch minus 2 then we get retrogressive winding or left handed winding hence for progressive winding front pitch is equal to pole pitch minus 1 and back pitch is equal to pole pitch plus 1 for retrogressive winding front pitch is equal to pole pitch plus 1 and back pitch is equal to pole pitch minus 1 now to check more clearly Let's take an example. Draw a developed diagram of a simple two layer lap winding for a four pole generator with 16 coils. Now it is given that the generator has 16 coils. So the number of a conductor is equal to 16 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 32 conductors. And pole pitch YP is equals to number of conductors per pole that is given by z by p that is equals to 32 divided by 4 equals to 8 this means pole pitch is equals to 8 now from a first point it is clear that back pitch and front pitch must be differed by 2 so yb minus yf is equals to 2 let it be first point and we know that average pitch is equals to back pitch plus front pitch divided by 2 that is equals to pole pitch which is equals to 8 this implies back pitch plus front pitch equals to 16 let it be second point now from first and 2 from 1 and 2 we get back pitch equals to 9 and front pitch equals to 7 also for left point resultant pitch is given by yb minus yf that is equals to even that is 2 9 minus 7 equals to 2 so yr is equals to and commutator pitch is equals to plus minus 1. Now let us draw a simple winding table for this question. Now 
we get back pitch equals to 9 and front pitch equals to 7 so these are our back end connections and these are our front end connections at back end connection back pitch is equals to 9 so if we start doing a winding from a first conductor then 1 plus 9 equals to 10 at the back end and front pitch is equals to 7 so 10 minus 7 equals to 3 again at back end 3 plus 9 equals to 12 and at front end 12 minus 7 equals to 5 up to 25 it is qu quite simple that is up to here it is quite simple now if we add 9 at the back end 25 plus 9 equals to 34 but there is only a 32 conductors so 34 minus 32 equals to 2 so 25 is connected to second conductor again 2 is equals to 34 34 minus 7 equals to 27 at the front end this means second conductor is connected to 27th conductor at the front end again 27 plus 9 equals to 36 but there is only a 32 conductor so 36 minus 32 equals to 4 this implies that 36th conductor is nothing but a fourth conductor so 27th conductor is connected to fourth conductor at the back end and fourth conductor is further connected to 29th conductor at the front end now let's understand this by a diagram let me draw conductors this is our 32 conductors and from table it is quite clear that at the back end conductor first is connected to conductor 10 that is like that and at the front end conductor 10 is connected to conductor 3 like that again conductor 3 is connected to conductor 12 at the back end and conductor 12 is connected to conductor 5th at the front end and so on 5th is connected to 14 and 14 is further connected to 7th at the front end let me draw this figure up to the conductor 25 now up to 25 it is quite simple to connect but at the back end 25 plus 9 equals to 34 but there is only a 32 conductor this means 25th conductor is connected to 34 minus 32 equals to 2 that it is second conductor like that and at the front end second is connected to 27 now again at the back end 27th is connected to 27 plus 9 equals to 36 36 minus 32 equals to 4 so 27th conductor at back end is connected to fourth conductor like that and at the front end fourth is connected to 29 again 29 is connected to conductor 6 at the back end and at the front end it is connected to 31 and this is your 31 and 31 is connected to conductor which is connected to 1 so this completes our winding diagram of a lap winding let me complete this diagram with the commutator bars now guys this is our complete 
winding diagram of a lap winding now here the pole pitch is equals to 8 so this means one pole covers a uh, eight conductors now the next question is where we placed a brush this is quite important brush positions can be located by finding the direction of a current in the various conductors let's assume the direction under the north pole is downward and under the influence of a south pole is upward now putting the proper arrows it is found that the commutator parts 1 and 9 is the meeting point of EMS and the current flows outward mm. the current flows outward so the positive brush are placed here similarly the positions 5 and 13 are separating points of EMF they are separating points so here we place a negative brush as there is uh, coil commutator segments is equals to the number of a commutator coils so in a question it is given that the commutator coils is 16 so there is a 16 commutator segments so this is our 16 commutator segments so guys this is all about the lap binding of a DC machine in our next lecture we will see wave binding thank you everyone if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel